today we are going to unbox our materials to be used in logging data to database using Arduino Ethernet Shield. So what I have here is the jumper wires. First, I am going to explain to you the uses of jumper wires. So jumper wires is an electrical wire or group of them in a cable with a connector or pin at each end. It is used to interconnect components of a breadboard or other prototype test. The second material we have is the Arduino Etheric Shell WS100. Allows you to easily connect your Arduino to the Ethernet. It enables your Arduino to spend and receive data from anywhere in the world with an Ethernet connection. So here I have the third equipment which is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor module. DHT11 is an ultra low cost digital temperature and humidity sensor. It uses a capacitive humidity sensor and thermistor to measure the surrounding air and spits out a digital signal on the data pen. The fourth equipment in logging data to database using Arduino Ethernet Shield is the Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is an open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. Arduino boards are able to read input lights on a sensor a finger on a button, or a Twitter message, and turn it. So I have here the fifth material, which is breadboard. So breadboard is used to build circuit quickly before finalizing a circuit in new design. The breadboard has many holes into which circuit components like ICs and resistors can be inserted. This is the last material. Arduino USB cable. Use it to connect Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega 256D, Arduino 101, or any board with the USB Paymal A port of your computer. Cable length is approximately 178 cm. Cable color and shape may vary slightly from image as the stock rotates. USB cable type A or B standard USB 2.0 cable. In this part, I'm going to show you the process in assembling our temperature humidity sensor. First, pin the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor on the breadboard. Second, pin the jump wires under the DHT11 humidity sensor. Third, Connect the Arduino and Ethernet Shield by pinning the Arduino Ethernet Shield WS100 to the Arduino Uno board and make sure to pin it rightly by pressing it hard with care. Fourth, connect the jumper wires on the breadboard to the Arduino Ethernet Shield WS100. The right side is on the 9th pin. The middle side is on the V5 or Volt 5. And the left side is on the ground. Fifth, connect the Arduino USB cable to the Arduino Uno board. Sixth, Connect the LAN cable to the Arduino Ethernet Shield and connect it to your router. And lastly, connect the Arduino Uno board to your personal computer. Good day everyone, welcome to this interesting project. This video, we will demonstrate our version on how to send temperature and humidity data 
to MySQL Server, PHP, MyAdmin using Arduino. For creating the database, we will download the XAMPP server and after downloading, we will then send the data from the Arduino using the Ethernet shield through the internet router and this data will get stored in the database. Step 1. Installing and setting the XAMPP. The first step you need to do is install XAMPP and after installing it, run the XAMPP as administrator by right clicking on it and selecting run as administrator as shown in the video. After opening it, start the Apache and MySQL services. Step 3. Creating the PHP Pages Now, we're going to create the PHP Pages which will help in making connection between the Arduino and the database. First, go to cdesk slash zamp slash htdocs and create a new folder named Ethernet. Create a new text file in this folder and save the name as connection.php. Paste the below code there and save the file. This PHP file will make a connection between the Arduino and the database. Then, create a new text file and save the name as data.php. This PHP file will log the data into the database from the Arduino. You can manually check that if the database is receiving the data. At this point, you have successfully made the connection between the database and the PHP pages. Step 4. Sending data from Arduino to database. Before going forward, you need to check the whether the Ethernet shield is working properly or not. So to do this, connect the Ethernet wire from the Ethernet router to the Ethernet shield. Next, open up the Arduino IDE. Go to Files, Examples, Ethernet, DHCP address printer. A new window will open up. Upload the code and in the serial printer, it will show you the IP address of the Ethernet shield. Note this IP address as you will need it in the code. Then open the command prompt cmd and type in ipconfig and it will show you the IPv4 address. Note it was we will also need it in the code. Now, we are ready to send the data to database from the Arduino. Step 5. Displaying the data. To display the data, you will need to create another PHP file that will read the data from the database and will show it on the web page. Create another PHP file with the name display.php and place it on the same folder where you have placed the other PHP files. This sees slash zamp slash stdoc slash ethernet. Place the code in the display.php and save the file. Now, type the following line in the browser web page the data will be shown like in the below figure. Thank you for what?